today. A 2-0 win at home for East uh, for uh, Edgefield against Eastbourne Borough. Today, first goal of the game came from Craig Tanner, attacking midfielder for, uh, for Edgefield. Craig is here with us. Uh, you've got to talk us through that free kick firstly. A uh, couple of minutes before half time, Craig, and uh, looked quite well taken to me. What did uh, you make of it? Yeah, it was all right. I wasn't sure what side to go, so I, uh, I pulled uh, Solly over and thought, which side, which side should I put it? Should I reverse it or go up over the wall? And he said reverse it, so. I gave it my best shot and luckily it clipped the bar and went in. It was an absolute perfect, wasn't it? I mean, I'm sure you're going to say you do those all the time in training, but it can't go much better than that, can it? No, no, doing it in training and uh, doing it in a game are two separate things. I think uh, Dom, Dom Polian's given, given me a bit of stick because I think I've had three free kicks and not scored. So, you know, when I, when I scored that one, I had a little word of him at half time, so it was all right. We did notice on commentary as well that, that Chris Olley had said something to you. It was actually a decision on which side to put it. Then. Yeah, I just asked him. I just thought, oh, so what side do you reckon I should put this? And he said, I'll reverse it. So that's what, that's what I tried to do. Lucky enough, this time it went in. Next time it might not. So lucky, luckily, yeah, it hit the back of it. And that started things off for you. And uh, as you said, Dominic Polion finished it off in the, in the second half as well. A, a good finish, your view of that one? Yeah, no, I thought patched on superb when he came on. It was a great, great ball. And they had quite a high line with Dom's pace. I thought when he came on, I thought it was a real handful for him today. And um, that's what Don wants, balls in behind, and then you know he's he's finished it really well, showed some great composure, and it's sort of you know I don't think they really looked like scoring once we went two 0 um, It's something we needed to work on. We've been leaking goals far too often. We've worked hard at it in training, and you know we've got a reward for a clean sheet, which is you know more important than maybe the second goal for us. I was going to say it's been a tough few weeks, isn't it? I think two wins in seven coming into this one, and, and obviously you're pushing for promotion. You, you want to be, need to be in better form than that. Yeah, look, it hasn't been good enough. Uh, it's as simple as that. There's no, there's no way you can beat around the bush. Two wins in seven for the calibre of players we have isn't, is nowhere near good enough. The fans deserve a lot more. Um, so you know, we've, we all spoke. We've, we put things right throughout the week. We're working hard every day, and I thought that was a good, good, good performance. I don't think it was as free flow and attacking. Um, as it has been in the past, but maybe we've taken a little edge of that to get the three points and now it's on us to find the right balance. I guess, guess if you're going to have a blip though, you've got to get it out of the way now and, uh, and make a run towards the end of the season. Yeah, every team goes through blips, ups and downs, and it's how you handle them and come back from them. Um, and I think today we put on a good performance for every every man to their own work their socks off, you know, even to the last kick of the game. And there's lots of fouls getting up and at the end of the day we, we dust ourselves off, we've got the three points and you know, hopefully we need to build on that now. It can't be three, three wins in eight. We need to go again against Bath and uh, you know it's a long journey down there. Hopefully a few fans will come and we'll, we'll go from there. They're a strange old team, Bath, in terms of their form and the way we play. Like I've, I've seen them just in the games we've seen, pl seen them play brilliantly. I've seen them play absolutely terribly as well. What are you expecting from them? Uh, it'll be a tough game, you know, away from home. Uh, in this league, I found anyone can beat anyone on the day. I think if you look at results, there's always three, four shocking results, which you think, oh, that's a definite three points for that team. Um, and coming into the uh, 13, 14 games left, there's going to be these sort of results. So hopefully, when the results go that way, you can capitalise on it. And you know, we need to go down there. More importantly, get keep a clean sheet because that's minimum a point. And we go from there and hope our firepower can get us over the line. Thanks for that, Craig. And uh, fine, is that a goal of the season contender? Do you think that one, the free kick today? Uh, no, I think Woody's, Woody scored a few good ones. I think recently. So, but that's not for me to say. I'm, I'm happy I scored, whether it's a six yard or a tap in or whatever it is. As long as it's back there, I'm happy. Plenty of games left as well. Yeah, plenty to go. We we'll see what we can do. That's good, Craig Tanner. Thank you very no much. No worries. No worries. Great joining, joining us after that. It's a two 0 win for Ebbsfleet.